my name is Praveen. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Java Fun. Today we're going to talk about prime numbers. How to what is a prime number? How to find it out whether a given a number is prime or not? Then we'll find it out how to print all the prime numbers in a given series, let's say from 1 to 100. And then we'll find it out the optimization mechanism for that particular algorithm, how we can make a prime number finding algorithm faster. So today we're going to find about how we can implement it using a square root. So if you're coming to my channel for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe. We have created the whole series of Java programming uh, language questions. Uh, it will be very beneficial if you are preparing for a Java programmers interview or uh, even if you're just trying to find it out the Java language features, it will be much beneficial for you. Go find and check it out the playlist that I've created specifically for the Java programming interview. Uh, again, please do like, share and subscribe this video if you find it beneficial, beneficial for you. So without wasting too much of time, let's find out what exactly is a prime number. So according to Wikipedia definition, prime number is nothing but a whole number which is only divisible by the number, uh, by one and the number itself. So its only factors are one and number itself. So what exactly is a factor? Factor is nothing but another whole number which equally or evenly divides the that particular number. So one of the examples of prime number is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. So if I take an example of 7, suppose 7 is only divisible by 1 and 7, no other number starting from 2 to or uh, starting from 2 to 6 suppose can divide 7 into a even parts as in if I, if I divide it, you don't get a remainder as 0. So it's not really an even um, division. So that exactly is a prime number. If I take an example of 4 suppose, I can divide 4 by 2 and I get a remainder as 0. So 4 is not really a prime number. Whether 1 is a prime number or not, uh, this confu confusion is there in the number of candidates. So 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. So if someone asks you to print a prime number series from let's say 1 to 100, don't include 1 into it. So let's find out how we can implement a prime number or what will be its algorithm basically. So as I can, as I already told you, uh, number is has to be divisible by some other number apart from 1 and 7. So what we need to do is we need to loop through from let's say starting from 2 to number minus 1 and find it out do we have any other number which by which we can divide a given number and get a remainder as 0. So we need to a loop. So loop will start from 0. Uh, so start from 2 and we'll run till n minus 1. And just say we say uh, index of the loop is let's say i. I will take another boolean variable called as is prime and then we say if we are given number n uh, mod i if you divide it by or i and then if you get a remainder as 0 then it's not really a prime number so we just uh, assign the value as false for this particular boolean variable if not if the loop ends then you still have a is prime value as true then it means if the number is prime you can print it out okay so let's find out to run this particular algorithm for let's say 7. I am looping through let's say 2 to 6. Uh, for the iteration 1, 7 mod 2 it is not 0, 7 mod 3 is not 0, so on and so forth till 7 mod 6. In none of these cases you are getting mod as 0. So which means that none of these numbers are equally dividing 7. So that's why 7 is a prime number. What if I take uh, 4, I'll run a loop from let's say 2 to n minus 1 which is 3. If I divide 4 by 2, I get a remainder as 0, which means uh, then 4 is not really a prime number. Now this is for finding out a prime number. Now we need to find out prime numbers in a given series, let's say from 0 to 100. So again, the same, again the same algorithm, but uh, we need another loop basically to run the sequence from 0 to let's say 100. So again the same thing follows just that you'll have two loops. Inner loop is basically finding it out whether the number is prime or not. And the outer loop which is running with the index say i and the inner loop running with the index say j. So they are basically just trying to figure it out whether the given uh, index which is i is prime or not. Uh, if it is a prime we just print it out. Okay. 
now this is to find it out whether a, uh, or print all the numbers in a in a particular series so let's implement it and find it out how we can uh, program this in java so i'll go to my intellij idea this is my class called prime number uh, let's forget about using the square root for now uh, we'll first implement without square root and then we'll see what is the advantage of using the square root for finding the prime number so what we'll do is we'll get the sequence limit from the as a user input and uh, we'll use that user input to loop through so let's say i'm using a java scanner class to get a standard user input from user so i'll say new scanner and i'll give a standard input stream as a constructor argument now whatever input i'm getting basically i'll assign it to a integer values let's say limit limit of my sequence this is scanner dot next int now i run a loop I'll, as i told you last time we will need two different loops okay so outer one will be having an index let's say i inner one will be indexed j so this loop will run not from 0 it will run from 2 till let's say limit less than or equal to limit and i plus plus inner loop let's say index as j I run from 2 again and j it should be less than i because i is the number for which we are finding out whether it's prime or not and what we basically need to do is let get a variable boolean variable assign it with value let's say true is prime is true and if i say suppose i mod j which is your current inner loop index if it gives you zero then it means it is not really a prime number and then i say false and i don't need to run the loop and break out the existing loop if inner loop completes and you still don't find it out uh, then i'll check the boolean value if it is still true it means it is really a prime number let's say, say sys out number let's say i i is a prime number okay and this basically we need to initialize within the inner before the inner for loop itself so this will be our program what we'll do is we need to find out how much time it is taking so i'll i'll, I'll get a current time i say current time system dot current time in millis after this program finishes i'll print out the total time taken i say total time taken would be current time minus start okay so let's run this program let's find it out how much time it is taking and whether our algorithm is working fine or not i say run it till 100 okay time taken is one millisecond because the limit is quite small let's run it for let's say 100k okay let's see how much time it takes this time it is taking somewhere around 3.3 seconds around 3000 milliseconds which is on a higher side so now finally let's see how we can um, optimize this particular algorithm so before finding out let's i'll give you an example of uh, let's see what is the uh, factors I, if i take an example of let's say 64 as a number i wanted to find out whether it's prime or not so what are the even factors of 64 which actually uh, give you a 
uh, remainder as zero, or which by which you are actually evenly uh, able to divide uh, divide the number 64. So its factors are one, two. So two into 32 is basically gives a remainder as zero, four, eight, 16, 32, and 64. Now if you see a series there, basically, uh, this is your first three uh, factors. Then you'll get 8 into 8, which is a square root of 64. 8 is a square root of 64. And after that, the rest of the remainders on your right hand side, let's see, 4, 2, and 1 is basically a repeat of 1, 2, and 4. So after the square root, basically your factors are getting repeated 16 to 4, 4 into 16, or 16 to 4, 1 and the same thing, right? So your factors are getting repeated. So what we are saying is, if you want to make it performant, don't need to run the loop entire loop I just need to run it till its square root and okay so after the square root your factors are basically repeating itself so if I am to find it out I want to optimize this particular algorithm I don't need to go beyond the square root index so in this particular case uh, uh, I, I'm not really looping it from let's say 2 to 63 which is somewhere around 62 iterations, but I'll just loop it from 2 to 8. If I find it out in that thing, it's it's good. Basically, I don't need to loop it after it. So those many uh, iterations are basically saved. And this is very beneficial if you're running for a very large sequence, let's say 100K, right? So let's see if I do optimize this particular algorithm how much time it takes now so last time it took somewhere around 3.3 seconds now if I run it for 100k again let's see how much time it take 100k it took just 266 milliseconds so that is uh, it's a substantial optimization on your algorithm so uh, that's pretty much it hope you liked it uh, and find something new uh, this time uh, I have created so many other variations of the prime number program. You'll find the entire series into my Java programming knowledge questions. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I have created the whole series of uh, Java programming questions uh, which do get asked if you are preparing for any Java programmers interview. Even if you are not, this will give you a fair bit of idea of the Java as a programming knowledge. Uh, again, do like and press the notification icon so that whenever I put a new video, you will get notified about it. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming in, coming in and stay tuned. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Have fun in Java fun. Thank you so much.